I'm gonna change my stream title. Playing every Osu version up to laser update title. And I've already got all of the versions downloaded as well. So I'm pretty sure that the only version we're not going to be able to play is 2011. Because if you are connected to the internet when you have the 2011 client, it auto updates. Skipping 2011, we're gonna go from 2007, first version of Osu, all the way up to laser. We're gonna look at the skinning in all of it. Try to import a skin into each of them. Probably just this skin. Uh, I'm gonna change the cursor though. The only thing remaining to prepare is maps. So although I do want to look at Aspire maps in big black in all of the versions, I also want some other stuff than just Aspire maps in big black. But like what else is there <laughs> that's interesting to look at? So I need big black, Pro Boxes Aspire, Karu's Aspire, this one. One map from each other game mode as well. Okay, yes. <laughs> oh, I'll check this. 300 BPM stream map. Ooh, Fallen. Yes. Wait, this would be super interesting. Uta? Uta, okay. Oh, Atomosphere. This has a storyboard too, which is interesting to see. Like see when the storyboards start working and getting implemented in the old versions. One more, one more. Oh my God, guys, we're gaming. File, open song folder. Okay, guys. Okay. Other game modes now, you ready? Open song folder, yes. Oh, and the OC tutorial. Default, good old OC tutorial. File, open song folder. <gasps> all right, guys, let's begin. Look at all of these different things I have open. Are you ready for this? We got all our songs. <laughs> and our skin. We're going from Osu 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, skipping 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, then the current client, then laser. Checking the maps, checking the skin importing, playing them back to back. We're gonna start with Osu 2007. I just realized volume is gonna be like horrendous. So get ready for your ears to burst with some of the default volume of these. So what we learned last week when we were testing some of these versions of Osu out is that if you run them in full screen mode, it caps my monitor's refresh rate at 60 hertz. I, I'm a top tier gamer, so I play on 144 hertz, which is why when we're like testing out those uh, those maps and all the things that we're going to test out, we're probably going to be looking at a lot of them with auto because... I won't be able to play most of them that well in any version prior to 2015. <laughs> okay, pasting in all of the maps. And unfortunately, <laughs> that instantly crashed it. You have no beat maps. Please place at least one beat map or audio file in the songs di directory before starting. <laughs> but Osu, you crashed when I did that. <laughs> What if I try 2007? Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. You can only play 2007 and 2008 beat maps in the 2007 and 2008 clients. Okay. Let's just get like one map. Disco Prince. Okay, now I need one from 2008. Here, I'll grab that. All right, now we're gaming. Also, is this song copyright? No fail? I don't think I'm going to be able to get 2007 to work. I just clicked no fail and it crashed my game. I'm not clicking anything except for start in the bottom right. My face cam's covering it a little. Oh well. It finally works. Oh, my keybinds though. Okay, I'm just playing with pen only. This is impossible. I've actually never played this before. Not even last week when we were looking at old Osu versions. I I've never played Osu 2007 myself. I can't read the AR. <laughs> what is this? Is it like AR6? Oh, can you watch replays? Oh, you can. I'm surprised I didn't crash the game. You can totally watch replays. Also, the slider ticks are so loud. <laughs> I forgot this combo fire too. God, I shouldn't, I really shouldn't open this. I'm gonna crash it. Oh, hey, look, it's the Osu editor. It's actually surprisingly not that different. Although all of the stuff within the editor, like on the left and right of the screen is drawn. Why, why? <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. Crazy creativity that Peppy made. I love how similar the Osu editor is still. Like this is... <laughs> It's strikingly similar. So here's what I'm gonna try doing so we can get off of the 2007 version, because this might crash it. We're gonna try swapping skins. 
Oh, unfortunate. The song is still playing. Oh, there it goes. Okay, guys, that was OSU 2007. Did you enjoy it? I didn't. Let's go to OSU 2008. <laughs> Why do these always start off so loud? This already actually looks so much better than OC 2007. Look at that resolution. Oh yeah, this is when new mods got introduced. Oh my god, look at all the things at the top. There's so many different tabs. Selection options, filter, ranked, unplayed, unranked, absolute scrolling. The star effect is also crazy. Are you ready? I am. Three, two, one, go. Accuracy, 50%. So at the very end of us looking at the 2008 version, I'll try to import the skin again, even though it'll probably just break it, that's fine. Wait, are there any other game modes yet? There weren't in 2007. Oh, my spin! Holy shit! 600 spins per minute! Wait, what? Is that an old Osu thing? Why is it so high? 700? I guess it's calculated differently, or it just works differently. This is kind of fun. It's like playing Osu Laser, it's got something fun and endearing about it. Oh, that's enough of that for me. 13 minutes that was. But we can definitely check out some of the other mods on it. For fast combos, try toggling between left and right mouse button, or use keyboard alternative Z and X. Or control space? This is an unranked mode, drums take over the Osu. This is great. Okay. Oh, does hard rocking Im increase the approach rate? I can't tell. I think 44, 44%. Okay, we're gonna take too much time if I do that. I wanna check all the mods though. Like, what's DT like? DT is probably relatively interesting. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Crazy stuff. You can play this at the speed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be insane back in 2008. So how does the editor look in 2008? Oh, look, it's no longer drawn. 2008 editor versus current Osu editor is like, <laughs> it's so similar. I like Osu 2008. Oh, you can make the combo fire crazy. Why would you want that? You can't see. And there's no background dim. All right, guys, so let's see what happens if we import the skin. Here it comes. <gasps> Here it comes! It's got the trail, too. It's like... Look at the back button! <laughs> oh my god! This is crazy! Oh, uh, I didn't launch. No. Well, we got to see a little bit of the gameplay with the skin. Oh no! Well, here's the error message that I got for those interested. We have a problem. Object reference not set to an instance of an object. Osu is this smashed cup. Sad face. <laughs> On to 2009 we go, guys, where things should apparently be a little bit more stable. So what options do we have in 2009? We have, Osu 2009 is looking pretty much like 2008. This resolution is a little bit bigger, more streamlined looking options. I guess I'll just keep everything default. We still got the combo fire. Oh, so we should be able to import maps now. Oh, this is where other game modes are here now. Look at those amazing drawings on Catch the Beat. Oh, there's less options at the top. Everything's looking a bit better. Still no background now it's your turn. Oh, hit the next four hit circles. Okay, now we can start comparing. Great job. This is now 10 years ago, this version. Hit the next three sliders. Oh, they fixed the spinning, so it's now no longer. 700 spins per minute. That's it. You're well on your way to becoming an Os Rhythm Champion. Which maps do we want to try? Let's try Big Black. I'm going to try these like a few at a time. I don't want to put all of the maps in out of fear of it breaking. Get ready. We've got Big Black coming in. Sick! Let's go! Can I change skins? Might break. I'll try it though. We can kind of see the gameplay though, but it does break it.
God, this is hard because there's a bit of delay. Oh, you can change the playback speed in this version. OC 2009, how about that? Look at these options that we have. Oh my god, the combo bursts. This is so cool. I'm gonna try Fallen. Oh no. Wait. No, it totally works. Here, I need to hydrate more. I'm rehydrating. Gotta calm down that fire. I just realized Auto's gonna get destroyed. Damn, look at the fire, it's blue! Can Auto FC this? Oh my god, the sliders. <laughs> look at the weird. The old slider curves. Arrow works fine. Cool. Well, if I can put in Fallen, I can probably put in everything except for Aspire maps. Does Dreamsters work? Okay. This is gaming. God, we're already on 2009. We had to speed through 2008. Oh! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It stopped working. <laughs> Not quite sure what happened there. Oh, see, now it's time to test, like, legitimate big boy stuff. I bet this is easy. See, I've got a pass on this normally. But I can easily pass it in 2009. Oh, the, the, the hit sounds. How many stars is this? Oh, it's five. Right. Wait, no, it's one, two, three, four and a half. Here, while we're checking out the rest of the maps, would it be possible for me to turn off hit lighting and combo fire and combo bursts? I don't know. They might. We could check. Play. Special. Catch the beat. Oh, fruit. It's the spinner. There's no bananas. Wait, it's actually like too fast for old Taika. It does auto convert though. We could try some 2B maps. That's probably just going to break it though. Let's try. We already tried Fallen, that was cool. Let's try Stargazer. Oh. No, it's so hard! <laughs> so 2B stuff doesn't crash. The storyboard doesn't work, unfortunately. So I guess storyboards weren't a thing in 2009. Maybe they were, but they just don't work for this. I can't wait to get to widescreen. The next year is 2010, so that should have widescreen, I think. Actually, this works surprisingly well. Man, I can't believe I haven't done this until now. This is such a good idea. We have way too many maps, though, to look at all of them in each version. So I think we'll keep, like, a few of them the same between each version, like the tutorial, Big Black, and Aspire maps. Well, I guess we've, like, experienced this Osu now. But let's try, like, Hard Rock on Blade Dance. We could try it on. Oh yeah, the AR is, like, noticeably faster. Wait, this AR is so fast. I can't see! Okay, let's see how Auto DT does. Yeah, this is- 2009 is when we're, like, getting a little bit closer to good default 2019 Osu experience. I bet there will be a noticeable change when we go to 2010, though. Cool stuff. Okay, Tycho, 2009. Okay, um, we could check its atmosphere. Can I open it in the editor? Oh, yeah. Wait, <laughs> the hit sounds don't work. This is exactly how I remember it. This is great. Final slider looks as great as ever. Oh, what about the rocket ship? Oh, the rocket ship looks sick. The sliders before it kind of break a little bit, but the rocket ship looks nice. 2009. All right, now we try Aspire Maps, and then we're on to 2010. It loads in, and the question is, does it work? 
Probably, honestly. Good old 2009. The only Aspire map of the two that we're trying out in all the versions that won't work until like later will probably be Karu's. Quite a step up from 2008. 2007 and 2008 were some struggle time. Oh, and the sliders show up so well too. 10 years ago and it works just fine enough. I'm actually more interested in if Karu's Acid Rain works. There's no way it'll work. They'll probably just crash it. Yeah. Well, it took uh, Probox's Acid or Probox's Aspire map actually didn't crash. So let's see, OC 2007 and 2008 skins crashed it, Aspire maps crashed it, anything that wasn't a 2007 or 2008 map crashed them. OC 2009 works pretty well. Uh, skin implementation when you're using a current modern skin doesn't work, but you can play Pro Boxes Aspire and DT and HR work well. There's Tycho and Catch the Beat. So it's on to 2010. All right, get ready for your eardrums to burst. This is OC 2010. Looking the same as 2009, to be honest. It's looking strikingly the same. Can I import a skin into this one now? So again, the skin works probably only until I select a beat map. <gasps> Wide screen! Oh yes! This is where things start to get more uh, manageable. Oh, I don't think I can, I, I still think I need to use only decimal approach rates or, or non-decimal approach rates. Oh my God, up to 2014, I can only have non-decimal. Holy, okay. Oh man, this is, this is getting a lot closer to current. You can see like the parts of my skin. So let's see if this is still playable. Oh, <gasps> storyboards work now. But unfortunately, storyboards also bug it out. So for, I, I can't load the map. So no storyboard for us. What, what, what's fine? Big black should be fine, right? Oh, didn't work. It's probably the skin again. Oh, we should check Fallen on this one. I guess this is, everything on 2010 gameplay wise is gonna be about the same as 2009. You know what, like this, this OC 2010 actually has a higher accuracy than 2009 did on this map. A much higher accuracy. 2009 had like a 98 something right here. Yeah, this destroyed 2009. It's that widescreen <laughs> coming in. Oh yeah, and this is where you can shake to activate the menu. You shake your cursor, that's insane. <laughs> game modes are still the same, other game modes. I guess it's gonna be similar. All these fire maps are gonna work except for Karu's. I wanna check Drim's map to see if it's any more playable, this one. I like how all of these are like out of the range or out of the image area. Yeah, now it's essentially us looking at the same thing, so I don't need to linger on 2010 for too long. 2009, but widescreen with a few more options and storyboards, but not all of them work in the maps that we imported. So this storyboard works a little bit. Not all of it's gonna work. Oh, the hit sounds work in this one too. How does the rocket ship slider look? Same as it does in 2009. <laughs> Can't wait for background dim. So let's try um, the Aspire maps now. This is about the same as it was in 2009. Take a peek at it in the editor though. Looks like a flag. It's not gonna work. All right, so main changes from 2009 to 2010 is that 2010 has some more options and widescreen other than that, it's about the same. So 2010 is like an upgraded 2009, unsurprisingly, <laughs> but not by that much. Good 2010. Please, please close now. Oh, did it crash? I didn't even have to close. Okay, yeah, it's just gone. All right, goodbye 2010. It's time to skip 2011 because I need to be not connected to the internet, otherwise it'll auto update. And we're going to 2012. Whoa, wait a minute though. Before we go to 2012, I got some 2011 gameplay. 
Uh, so it's essentially 2012. That's all it is, really. It's just 2012, 2010. Um, it doesn't have full 16 by 9 widescreen, though. Only 1680 by 1050 as the max. And it has the new default skin cursor as well, as you can see. Looking amazing. Uh, so I'm pretty much going to skip over this because it really is just 2012 without the full widescreen that you will see in a second. 2012. 2012 has a different Osu EXE logo. Already got something different. 2012 with that nice new default skin. Oh, we can try the skin now too, so hold up. And I can't change skins because it crashes Osu instantly again. Oh, I really wish you could change skins. It's not gonna be until like 2013. This would be the most playable version so far because of the new default skin and things working correctly. Oh, I wonder if this gets a higher act than 2010 though. So 2010 ended with like a 99.8. Oh, back when discussion was a thing. You can like comment on the song. Cool map. Your comment has been submitted. Oh yeah, back when comments used to fly by the screen when you were watching a replay of someone. Oh wait, auto SS's. <laughs> it's easier for auto to SS. 2012 than it is currently. I'm actually really surprised that auto SS that. It's gonna crash, but I wanna check straight away if this storyboard works. Ah, it doesn't work. Does the tutorial? Tutorial. <laughs> now it's your turn. <laughs> All right, now you try. I'm ready. Hit the next three sliders. I have potential. I miss my 800 or 700 spin per minute. How sad. Now we're down to 400, 350. Why does the AR seem so high? Wait, what? Is it just me or is this AR like above 10? Okay, this is not easier to play. Before I mess around as standard anymore, let's check Mania. So if we go to plane... Oh, does the editor look different though? No, the editor still is the same. Key eye time! Key eye time, guys! Top left! Cute! <laughs> Cute key eye. Where's that slider at the end? Sick. Wait, what's happening to the slider at the bottom of the screen? It's like, uh, <laughs> it gets very warped. That's kind of cool at the bottom. What is that? All right, editor works. <laughs> Let's go. 2012 Mania default skin is the same as current. <laughs> Do Tycho and Catch the Beat seem any different? Oh, this looks like this looks like current Tycho though, doesn't it? Catch the Beat on the other hand is still the same <laughs> as it's been. Wait, one other thing. We've been looking at the uh, rocket ship slider in all the versions. Good old normal Atomosphere rocket ship. Sick stuff, guys. So let's see, this should work. And it does, unsurprisingly. I wanna see if it crashes on these sliders too. Nope. All right, our last test of each of the years. Does this map work? Oh, no, but something happened. <laughs> oh no, I got the same error. You made Osu sad. We're moving on to 2013, where hopefully skin implementation or custom skins finally work. Ah! Literally every time. That default volume is absurd. Oh, there's a, the skin section is up here now. Oh, there, there actually are more skin options, I think, in 2013 than there were in 2012. Skin, skin, does it work? Yes, question mark? <laughs> I love how what's funny is every version, there's a little bit more of the skin that works. So now it's looking a little bit closer to the skin. I imagine it's not, it's gonna crash when I get into gameplay, just like it has in all the previous versions. Although I don't know why. 2013 wasn't that long ago. This is six years ago. Processing beatmaps headers failed. Actually, I think none of the maps work. Okay, <laughs> I'm not sure what just happened, but Osu crashed. Oh no, can I not change skins back? <sighs> Poor 2013, it's trying its best. Does the tutorial at least work? 
Yes. Now introducing Why is the slider, screen shaking? Slider ball. 2013 is scaring me. What if I do like one map at a time? What if I take big black, paste it in, have I fixed things? <gasps> it works. Wait, whoa. I don't remember this being a thing. Pass this beat map at least once to unlock all settings. Also, background dim is a thing now. Sick. You can only go up to 60% dimmed though. Pass this beat map once to unlock all settings. Interesting. Quality. Oh, 2013 is where they introduced the menu to swap game modes. Good job, 2013. For some reason in 2012 and 2013, but not before. All the approach rates are like faster than they should be. Okay, 2013 went from being like the most unstable so far after 2007 to now being like the best client that we've used so far. Oh yeah, the sliders are invisible now for some reason instead of showing up. They showed up in 2012. I'm actually surprised that I got 700 combo on Big Black with Big Boy input delay. Those, yeah, so the sliders, everything works pretty well. Truly assessing. Oh, so this is when like the the current skinning for other game modes has been implemented. The combo numbers and everything is a bit how it is nowadays. Default Tycho is default Tycho. Oh, but this oh it still has the old catch the beat. This is before the current catch the beat guy. I forgot about that. The old catch the beat mascot was just some dude. <laughs> is it gonna work here? I'm gonna guess. No. Time to crash, and then go to 2014, unless it works. Nope. Now, oddly enough, it didn't crash, it just pushed me back to the main menu. It doesn't crash the game, though. I wonder if more of the Atomosphere storyboard works. Yeah, so the storyboard still only like half works. Hit sounds work as normal, which is good. So far in 2013, other than Karu's Aspire and some modern storyboards, uh, everything works well. This is actually the first version We've played everything from 2007, and 2013 is the first version where we are quitting out of our own volition, and the game didn't, like, crash. Everything from there on, then, I guess, from now going into 2014, should be continually more stable. Oh, God, every time. It's so loud. Oh, 2014 is the first client where the options are now on the left side. Background dim can go to 100%. Snow visualization on the main menu. Of course, give me that menu snow. And then select skin. Error while loading the current configuration file. Seems to be working. Oh my God, the menu snow. <laughs> oh wait, I just realized too, cursor size isn't a thing. And it's probably gonna work about the same as 2012, which is to say that things are playable. Don't expect it to be that much different. Oh wait, actually the skin implementation is worse. The sliders aren't skinned like they are in the 2012 version or the 2013 version. What version are we on right now? <laughs> Is this 2014 or 2013? I've lost, lost track. Okay. I mean, everything works the same. The storyboard has 
some more elements added onto it. That little effect in the bottom left of the storyboard didn't show up in 2013. But everything's like positioned correctly as well. So some things are a bit more accurate in 2014. Certain storyboards, I would imagine, like this one, still don't display. Actually, so much so that it just crashed completely. Yeah, I think we gotta skip to 2015. 2014 just reset everything back to default and had a hard crash. <laughs> I wanna skip 2014. <laughs> Does this work? Oh my god! Wait, this works now. So this is also when we're at like normal default skin or closer to current default skin, 2014. I don't think we looked at the default skin in 2013. But it's either this or the other one. The end of 2014 is when I started Osu. So I played on, well, I guess I played on a more updated version, right? I didn't play necessarily on this specific version. So the version I played on was closer to the 2015 client because it was so close to the end of the year. Oh, it totally works! I cannot believe it works! That's a big F. Never mind, it doesn't work in OSU 2014. Oh, 2014 almost pulled by. Oh well. On to 2015, I guess. 2015 was four years ago, did you know? Welcome to us. Oh, it's 2015, guys. This is what we like. Oh my god. Oh, cursor size is a thing now. Nice. Koi fish you. Let's go. Oh, we, I think we can have custom AR values now. So it wasn't until 2015 that there were bundled beatmaps, or the end of 2014. Bundled beatmaps, custom, like, like uh, decimal AR values and stuff like that. Uh, here, I'm copying all the maps. I should just be able to control V. Nice! The editor is looking good, isn't it? Now here in the great year of 2015 stable fallback version. It's working a little bit better. I still forgot that slider end circles not being, or, or being something that you couldn't skin out was like for most of the time Osu's been around. Yeah, 2015 was a huge year for Osu. Uh, what should we try? Big Black, I guess? That's been like the first thing that we've been playing. Oh, those volume wheels are insane. Oh, you can turn off the in-game interface in 2015 too. I just realized how nice it's gonna be when I go back to normal Osu after this and I don't have input delay anymore. Oh, those volume wheels are like super nostalgic for me. Oh, storyboards. Oh yeah, so wait, does storyboards work now? In every version prior to 2015, modern storyboards do not work. No, no, they do not. Here we are in the great year of 2015 and they do. Holy shit. I've got background dim on though, so you can't see it, <laughs> but it works. I don't know if all of the elements are in the storyboard. Osu improved a lot between 2014 and 2015. So now having looked at everything from 2007 to 2015 in the past few hours, 2007 and 2014, seven years apart, were the two most unstable This map's so good. Oh, are the sliders in this still invisible or no? Oh no, they're still invisible. Really? Interesting. Map works at least though. Does Fallen 100%? If 2015 doesn't SS, then 2013 takes the cake for the best version for me <laughs> of the old Osus. 2013 was really nice. Oh, nice job, 2015. Good shit. All right, 2015 and 2013 are on par. Oh, we got to check the tutorial. And default skin. Slider ball, follow circle, uh, and slider kick. When the approach circle closes around. Do I have the video turned off? No? What's wrong with the video? The head of the slider. <laughs> okay, so the video breaks a bit, but it works. And there's bundled B maps, which is cool. Storyboards work. Can we pass Karu's Aspire? Or does it. No, it crashes! 
None of the versions pre-current Osu have been able to pass this map. Damn. 2014 was the only one that that map loaded in. Yeah, I can check in the editor. Mm, I don't think it's working. Wow, that's too bad. And the AR, by the way, also feels correct again in 2015 after it feeling weird in all the other versions. Oh yeah, this is when the new 100s and all of that and the, all the new particle effects for the default skin were a thing. It's been interesting to see how the default skin has evolved from 2007 to 2015. As uh, not good as the default skin is, it's certainly a lot better than it used to be. So, what does this leave? Looking at the other game modes. Oh yeah, now we're back to default, current default Mania skin, current default Tycho skin, which is essentially the same as it's been for the past few years. And Catch the Beat still doesn't have the mascot yet. Oh no, it does. Catch the Beat has Yuzuyo now, or no, Yuzu. Sorry, not Yuzuyo. Now, unfortunately, Yuzu has crashed the game. <laughs> um, hmm. You know what's funny? 2013, not only was one of the most stable, and I was saying 2015 and 2013 are on par with each other for being the best, most well-working clients. I thought 2015 was going to join it, but 2013 was the only old Osu client that didn't crash at the end of it. 2013 was the only one that we had to quit out of ourselves. 2015 crashed on Catch the Beat. <laughs> 2013 takes the cake for being actually the most stable of the old versions. Wouldn't have expected that, but uh, there you go. All right, now we're playing current Osu. We're gonna speed through current Osu and Osu Laser. Welcome to us. Boring current Osu, ugh. It's actually, like this compared to 2015, it is a big difference. Okay, we've played this like a million times today. I missed 2013. <laughs> that was the year before I joined, but man, that 2013 client was really stable. Don't think it was quite as stable as the good old current client, though, which we all know. Karu's Aspire does indeed work in the current client, as we know. You can even look at it in the editor. All the maps work, everything's correct. Tis the current client. Let's get that comparison, though, of the default skin. And that main menu too. Man, the main menu looks significantly better. Hit the next four hit circles. Great job. Okay. Speaking of things we've looked at like a million times. Was I right in that the Tyco version is still pretty much the same as it's been? Yep. Although it does look a little bit better now. Mania is the same as it was in 2015. Catch the Beat also the same. Yuzu. Now it is time, guys, to quickly check out Laser. Laser time. The next like big stream that I spend looking at Laser will be once it gets correct follow point implementation, which is not yet. It does have follow points now, but they're not correct. They're default follow points instead of skinned ones. Man, going from 2007 to this is crazy. <laughs> It's like really crazy. It's been a cool experience today doing this. It has been really cool. So Karu's Aspire. Oh, well it did work. Osu Laser actually got an update today, guys. Fun fact. Every time Osu Laser gets an update, it swaps between how stable this Aspire map is. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, here we are again. It, it, uh, it kind of works. By the way, guys, how do you feel about the hit error bars being on the left and right? Yes, my stream is frozen, by the way. Man, this is great, isn't it, guys? I wonder if you can complete the map now or if that slider still kills it. Oh, okay. All right, get ready for my stream to crash. Man, oh man, it also crashed out of the map. Osu 20, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015. Can't complete the Aspire map. Current Osu can, and Laser can't. Laser can do everything else that current Osu can do, which is great. Solace of Oblivion works fine, everything else works fine. Okay, uh, so what, tutorial, other game modes, and then the goodbye map, and then we're done. All right, all right, we're almost done. For the true experience of doing all the things we've done, and look at all the Osu clients and all the tutorials. Gotta use the new default. Oh, there's no voice. Now introducing the slider, slider ball, follow circle, and slider tick. 
When the approach circle closes around the head of the slider, click and hold the trigger button and follow the slider ball to the end of the track. When the spinner appears, click and drag your cursor in circles rapidly. Easy! Now it's up to you to do the next one. Oh, what? There's no that's it. You're well on your way to becoming an Osu Rhythm Champion. <gasps> Scuffed, bad, zero out of 10. <laughs> Look, it's the first time Tycho has changed since 2007, basically. Or no, no, when was Tycho implemented? 2008 or nine? Ever since then, it's been like the same. It missed a few of those notes, by the way. Oh well, it's laser. All right, and then uh, catch. Give me my boy Yuzu at the bottom of the screen. Let's go. I can't even see this stuff in new catch. New mania, centered. Crazy. I'm really excited for Laser because we've been checking it out so often. I've been like following its progress so much. I'm very, very excited for it. For standard, I'm not sure about the other game modes. But uh, I'm excited for Laser. Early 2020, I hope. That's what Peppy said. That's what it seems like based on how the development is going, which is cool. Oh, hey. S rank. Nice job, Laser. Five misses. <laughs> Good job. See you next time. That's been a a hoot. That's been a whole hoot, a whole holler as well, and a half. Checked out all the Osu versions from 2007 to Laser successfully. That was a really fun time. But wait, we're not done yet. I realized I forgot to look at Fallen in current Osu and in Osu Laser. Current Osu isn't as interesting. It gets 1 100 for me when I play it with auto. Uh, Laser, on the other hand, I have not seen before. So, before the video ends, let's take a look to see how Osu Laser does on. legitimate big boy stuff.